Now there may be times when you're doing your GCSE work, either in maths or physics, when you need to use these buttons here, sine, cos and tan. Now the way that we do this um, is the first thing is to check that your calculator is in the right mode. Now we often measure angles in degrees, but we can also use something called radians, but we don't use that until A level. And at the top here, you'll see that there's a very small letter D. Now what I can do is if that was uh, the, the letter R, if we were to go to Shift Setup, we then bring up this screen here. And you can see that num if you press uh, number three, it takes it to degrees, but number four takes it to radians. So we want it in degrees. I'm going to press three, and there's this small d at the top. Now, so we have the question, uh, we want to work out the sine of 60 degrees. All you do to work that out is you just press sine, you put in your angle. Um, this one here, you can close the brackets, but you don't need to. So we want to look at sine 60. And when we work it out, that gives us a number of 0 0.866. Okay, so you might understand that if you've, if you've looked into this for GCSE maths. It might be that you're looking at refraction, where you're looking at uh, Snell's law, and you need to work out signs of angles. But we can also go the other way. Um, for example, say we had sine theta is equal to 0 0.5. What we want to know then is the angle theta. Now to work that out, theta is going to be equal to the inverse sine of 0.5. So to do that on the calculator, what we need to do is, uh, you can see above the, the buttons here, we've got sine to the minus 1, cos to the minus 1, and tan to the minus 1. So to, take, to get into that mode, all we need to do is press shift, sine, and then we can see we've got sine to the minus 1. We've put in our number, 0.5. And this then gives us an angle of theta equal to 30 degrees. So basically, uh, sine is going one way and inverse sine is going the other.